Hey there, I am Chris Palmer with ChrisPalmerMarketing.com and in this video I'd like to help you out with two main concerns, two issues. One is you might have a web page or even a website that just won't rank. On top of that, maybe you're having indexing trouble. Maybe you're having trouble getting the initial pages indexed or keeping them indexed. Either way, I have solutions for you in today's video. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to break down some of the tips that you've probably already heard or read online, the most common stuff, right? Maybe you haven't heard it. And then I'm going to get into the actual tips, the strategies. I'll show you the tools that we use. I'll show you exactly what to look for. I'll go into search console. I'll show you everything that you're going to need. These down here, these six are generally what is needed if we're having trouble either indexing or a page just won't rank. So I don't want to waste any time before I get into these tips and walking through this tutorial today. I want to go ahead and just share with you digitalunfiltered.com. That's right, myself along with Craig will be holding an event Las Vegas, August 22nd through the 24th. Tons of speakers, a beautiful lineup, not recorded. It's in Vegas. We can share meals together, share a drink together. Can't wait to see you there. August 22nd through the 24th, Las Vegas in Caesars Palace. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and start getting into some of these tips. So the very first thing here uh, that I want to talk about, and, and this is most common. If you go and look up, hey, my page won't rank, what should I do? This is what you'll find out on the web, right? Uh, you're going to find, hey, check your robots.txt file if you're a WordPress user. All right, if you're a WordPress user, uh, robots.txt. All right, so robots.txt, you can find lots of information online related to the robots.txt file. It's super easy to upload and change, especially if you're on WordPress. Just look this up, how to add it, how to take it away. Make sure you're not blocking anything and make sure that you're allowing the pages to be seen by Google. All right, number two, make sure the page is indexable. Again, it's not being blocked. It's technically sound. The pages index follow, right? Make sure that if you're using any plugins or maybe you were using a staging site, make sure that everything is on, make sure it's indexable, make sure that there's no issues technically, all right? Number three, go ahead and run your sitemap. So you will wanna create a sitemap. And if you're unsure about a sitemap here, I'll go ahead and share with you briefly uh, how you can go about doing this. All right, so let's come right over here. We'll go right inside of here. I'll show you Search Console. Bear with me. So if you don't have Google Search Console already, I highly suggest that you get Google Search Console. So what you'll do is you'll come inside of Google and search for Google Search Console. Once you have Google Search Console, the next thing is you'll want to start now and you'll want to add your site in. All right, so this is Proxy Pixie. This is one of the projects that I'm working on. Now, when we're talking about a sitemap, all right, if you're on WordPress, you might be using a plugin. If not, you have to create one manually. Again, you can do a quick search and figure out, hey, how do I create a sitemap if I need to upload it, all right? But what you'll want to do is after you have your Google Search Console, you'll want to go ahead and go in here to sitemaps and then upload your sitemap here. This way, Google will have a on file your website, your index, your pages, what you want to what you have to offer to the world, all right? So it's under this, and you're, it's going to be your website.com forward slash sitemap.xml. And if you need to do this yourself, what you're looking for on Google is a sitemap.xml generator. There's tons of them out there. That way you can go ahead and create it manually for yourself if you don't have a plugin or if you're not using WordPress. All right, so that is the sitemap. And another piece that's the very next tip on the list is actually run a page crawl. So you can run your sitemap, but you can also do what is called the URL inspection inside of Search Console. If you click this button here, you will want to go ahead and inspect the page. So you'll search for it, right? So let's just do one together quick so you have an idea. You'll do a search for the actual page that you're having trouble either indexing or ranking. We want to make sure that the page is indexable, it's mobile friendly, and you'll want to go ahead and test that URL. We want to make sure that Google can see it and it's indexable and it can be served to an actual co consumer. And these are the most common things. Like if you look up page won't rank or page won't index, this is what you see online. Now from too much, too long, over a decade of messing around with websites and doing SEO. These are some of the tips. Here's six. I wanted to do five, but I threw in an extra one. Here are the actual six that will not only help you rank those pages, but it will also 
help with indexation and keeping pages indexed. All right, so let's talk about internal linking. All right, now, when we're talking about internal linking, there's a two things that I want to point out to you. All right, so if you have a page that's giving you trouble, you need to first know, hey, does that page have a lot of internal links pointing to it? Right, so that's the first step. When we're talking about internal linking, it's uh, inner links, right? Inner links pointed to the page in question, right? So this is the amount of internal links pointing to that page. Also, what you'll want to take care of is, uh, is the page in main navigation? So that could be inside the header or the footer. Or is it uh, interlinked, right, uh, on a top level page? And what I mean by that is you'll have website.com forward slash, let's say, um, personal injury lawyer forward slash uh, personal injury lawyer Philadelphia. The Philadelphia page won't rank, but is that Philadelphia page listed on the top level page where you're sending links and all your internal link juices? So you want to make sure that you're internally linked. And, and that's another really big one. So the amount of internal links pointing to the page, on top of that, is the page, is it in main navigation, header, footer? And if, if you can't do that for cosmetic reasons, then is that page listed on top level pages? So top level category pages, all right? Uh, again, for instance, I gave you the personal injury lawyer uh, example. And just to give you a, a, a quick example here. So say we're on this page here. Uh, we go over here to sponsors, right? We don't have any sponsors <laughs> yet, uh, but let's say it's digitalunfiltered.com forward slash sponsors is a top level page. And then if I were to write Chris uh, Palmer SEO here, right? The Chris Palmer SEO page is the page we're having trouble ranking. The top level page is sponsors. So are we linked in the header, the footer, or are we on this top level page right here? All right. And that's what I mean by top level page and internally linked. So let's keep going here. Let's keep getting through these tips. I'm trying to go as fast as I can. Um, so <clears throat> we talked about interlinks uh, in the main navigation, uh, top level page. Now, let me show you a tool that we like to use in order to see the flow. All right. So this is a tool called Sightbulb. Uh, there's also another option. It's called Screaming Frog SEO tool. It's called it's a crawler or a spider. Uh, they both have graphical interfaces in order to take a look at a visualization of a crawl map or a crawl tree. All right. I was actually looking at someone's site just to see what they were doing. Uh, what, someone in my group was curious about this website. So I just went to go and have a look. And as you can see here, we have a lot of supporting pages going to this top level page. Supporting pages going to a top level page. Supporting pages pointing to the top level page. Right? So this is what we like to use for visualization. This is called Sightbulb. It's relatively inexpensive. I'm not affiliated. It's just something that we use. Uh, or if you would like, you can also use Screaming Frog, which is right here. We utilize that as well. All right. This is free. Uh, this one too has a free tier as well, I believe. All right. So now we can see, well, where is the internal link flow going? We could actually see the amount of internal links. Also, SEMrush and Ahrefs will tell you how many internal links are pointing to a page as well. Okay. Now let's move on. So uh, internal link flow, right? Uh, using Sightbulb. All right, I just want to make sure you have all the tips uh, using Sightbulb or Screaming Frog. All right, uh, Scream. Okay, so these are two tools. Now next, let's move into external links. So if you're having trouble ranking a page or keeping a page indexed, we have found that most definitely it's a great idea to have some external votes coming in. And here's what I mean by this. So for instance, an external link could be a citation, it could be a social, it could be a social link. It could be just as simple as a Twitter post pointing in or a Reddit post. I'm not saying that that's always going to be what it takes to rank, but it can help with indexation or keeping things indexed and definitely help get that page seen, especially if you back it up with, say, a sitemap or uh, a page crawl. All right. So external links coming in. This could be social. It could be press releases. OK, but are you lacking external votes coming in? Also, when we're talking about external links, you know, pages not indexing or not ranking, you know, what's the anchor text? All right. 
So if you have links coming in, what's that anchor text? Is it varied? Is it on, is it naked? Does it make sense for the page? This is very, very important, all right? Next, what I wanna go ahead and uh, point out is top level authority, all right? Like I mentioned before on this example here, on Digital Unfiltered, we did a quick example of digitalunfiltered.com forward slash sponsors forward slash Chris Palmer SEO. The Chris Palmer SEO page is the page that we're having trouble ranking, all right? The top level page is sponsors. So the, the tip here is, is the top level authority. So on this sponsors page, you would want to link, right? Because it's top level. It should have a lot of external links on it. But somewhere in the body text, there should be a link over to this page, right? Right? We're passing flow. Power flows down on a website, all right? With that being said, what is the authority of the top level page? Because again, if I'm having trouble ranking this page here, a supporting piece, or better yet, maybe your website has three jumps or maybe four. So you have another web page here. Maybe you're having trouble with this page. You know, what is the flow? What's the internal flow? And more importantly, what's the overall authority of that structure? You know, are you building links to this level, the top level page? Is there enough links? Are you internally linked? This is something that we have seen drastically help with indexation. And on top of that, of course, rank pages. You build links to the top level, it, the power trickles down, and it'll help keep the pages indexed. All right. So that's that tip right there. Top level authority. Uh, build links into the silo. All right. Uh, so that's that. Number four. All right, so this is another tip, another element that we see consistently, another page ranking for those keywords, all right? So if we head back over to, let's say we go to uh, proxypixie.com, all right? So if I have proxypixie.com um, and there's a page there, uh, what I mean by is there another page ranking for it, let's say we go into proxypixie and for some reason, Google is rewarding the contact us page. All right. They're rewarding the contact us page for mobile proxies, right? So this can be a problem. This could be why my page isn't ranking. Google thinks that another page on my website is optimized or more relevant for a specific term, even though I made a page for it, right? So here's how you diagnose this. All right. So what you'll want to do is head on into your Google search console. All right, so we'll do it with this proxy pixie example. And what you'll want to do is you'll want to go ahead and look at your page that's not ranking. What is the page optimized for? All right, then the next step is you want to go into performance inside of Search Console. You want to scroll down the page. And what we want to look for up here is we want to go ahead and look for that query. So let's say it's whatever the query is that you can't rank for. Mobile proxies, we'll just say, okay? Proxies. And what we're looking for, I'm going to point this out to you in a second here. So we went to performance. We're looking at the overall performance. We're searching for a specific keyword that the page that's not ranking, right? It's not ranking, but it's optimized for that keyword. We look up a specific query, then we scroll down to the bottom, and then we click pages. And what we want to see is only one page that's pulling in traffic or impressions and clicks for that keyword. If you see a magnitude of, pa a magnitude of pages that are getting a lot of impressions, a lot of clicks, and a lot of traffic, this is why your page isn't ranking. You have another page that Google deems to be more relevant, all right? So that's how you find it, and that's what you're looking for, all right? So that's how you look for that. Uh, let's keep moving on. And then last but not least, uh, patience. Is it a new page, right? Is it a relatively new page? Are you just jumping the gun? You know, just because you launched 40 other pages and they indexed within two weeks or maybe within a month and they started to rank page number two, maybe even page one within a month, maybe two months, whatever the time frame was, doesn't mean that a new page is going to have the same exact effect. Like not every single page, not every single SERP, not every single website is the same. So is it a brand new page? Is it a different keyword? Maybe it's different competition. 
maybe it's just taking more time for Google to catch up to the work that you've done. There could be, there could be crawling issues. There could be updates. It could be any number of things. So have you given it enough time and have you gone over these steps and these other steps that are up here, right? So, uh, what we want to do at this level is, is it a new page? Give enough time. Uh, follow the tips in video, right? So do the robots, submit your sitemap, submit for your crawl, make sure you're not competing with yourself, these types of things, uh, and give it enough time. Make sure you build some links, get your internal link flow rolling the proper way, right? All the tips that we just covered. This one here happens all the time. It took me many years to understand that, hey, it could be the same site, but every page is different, just like every SERP is different. Last but not least, deep in the site. And what I mean by this is if we come over here to this example here that we were showing you on Proxy Pixie, deep in the site would be proxypixie.com forward slash mobile proxies forward slash 4G forward slash private forward slash shared, right? We are one, two, three, four levels deep. All right, so we need to make sure that our internal linking in each of those uh, subfolders is on par. And on top of that, we have to make sure we have our linking flow and our internal linking flow, right? So external links coming in, cross-linking on the website, like, is it too deep, right? So you might want to move those pages up a level if you really want to rank them and if there's trouble, all right? So if, if your structure is deep, this is something to look at. Let's look at one last thing that I did not write down. This is just a quick and helpful hint. Last but not least, add the page to a high traffic page, okay? And what I mean by this is, for instance, if I want to rank this page here that's called shared that we just created up here in the URL bar, say I want to rank that shared page, right? It's already indexed but it's not quite ranking how I want it to, or maybe it keeps falling out of the index. What you can do is you can internally link from a very high performing page. So within the body content, maybe twice within the body content, maybe from your home page over to the page that's falling in and out of the index, or maybe it won't rank, or maybe it just won't like whatever the issue is, take a high performing page and internally link to the poor performing page. We've seen that jump a, a web page, a poor performing web page out of its funk, just like that. So that's the last tip that I really want to give you. I hope that these tips have been helpful. I hope that if you're having indexing issues or ranking issues, that any one of these things have helped. If there's anything else that I can do for you, please don't hesitate to go ahead and reach out at chrispalmermarketing.com. If you have a question, ask in the section below. I answer everyone's question and I always always look forward to seeing you in the next web pages that won't rank and having indexing issues video have a great rest of your day bye bye